Hello YouTube. I just have to quickly do one thing. Um, I need to grab my headset. I also need mute TV because I need to do something outside. I need to check if uh, all the audio sounds fine. I should have done that before. We're picking up more Sakamoto days. I don't know how many chapters. Um, because I do have more time today because I don't have work until another 14 hours from now. And uh, I'm fine with doing a few here. So we might do four, four chapters today, four or five. Um, we are starting at 108 is the chapter we're starting on. Uh, you guys are getting this. Technically, this is will be the third video coming out today. Uh, there is going to be three more videos coming out after this. Six videos today. Five were uploaded yesterday. Um, I'm sorry about that, but since now I'm actually uploading again, I need to put stuff out. And it's stuff that should have been out a long time ago, but I technically took two weeks off from really putting stuff up to work on a few things. Um, one bigger thing, one thing I worked on, tried to get a uh, item or person to uh, unit to drop in a certain game. And uh, it didn't drop and it made me very sad. Um... It was the worst luck I've ever I've ever had. Um, continue on. I'm gonna just quickly check audio. I'm really sorry about this intro. Really sorry, but we're gonna keep it for right now. Um, but yeah, uh, this. Should... Um, otherwise, really, uh, we're jumping in. This is also why I do the the time codes for stuff. Uh, more than likely, this is gonna be. It gonna call itself a podcast. A lot of the longer stuff, it calls it a podcast, um, which I'm fine with. I can't change anything about it. It does it itself. Uh, chapter 108 of Sakamoto's Days. Uh, off campus, always be sure to carry your assassinations license. Ah, uh, yes, they're being tasked up with a impossible job or whatever. Uh, chapter 108, Assassination Department Store. Costs related to the mission are expense. Here are your JCC cards. What's this card for? Haven't you used one before, Sakamoto? We get to use this any way we want while we're on assignment. This is what makes off-campus assignment so alluring. I'm uh, close my window. I'm sorry. I was hoping that we weren't going to do that work today. You can probably still hear it through the other window, but the other window is not as open as that one was. Okay. Um, uh, a KO. Didn't you buy a horse racing ticket once? I chased the target to a racetrack and killed them there. It's deductible as an uncover, undercover expense. You kids... Good. I'm glad you're still still here. I've got one more team member for you. K Uzaki. So Uzaki is joining the three of them. He's a third year student in the assassination department, same as you. Oh, you know him? Hey, you're the kid from earlier. You look like, like a nerd, but you're actually a bad boy, huh? Rejected. Yeesh. Well, wet blanket. I don't jive with this guy <laughs> jive sorry okay we're to the city now to a store so uh, on a corner okay then our target is the steel dragon the leader of an illegal weapons manufacturing ring there's intel that he hides out in the department store the steel dragon what kind of cheesy name is that is he an assassin there's not a lot of info in the file. I guess investigation him, uh, investigating him is part of the assignment. Huh? I'm afraid you'll have to check your elect electronics and mail devices here. Come on, you're strict. There's been an upswing in violence lately. I do apologize. Can't bring weapons in. So a department store is like a huge store, right? 
well, for now, why don't we grab some lunch? Going up. Oh. Um, Nagat Ugh, Nagato. I'm more than certain that's his name. I really should have opened this sooner. No, a mo uh, mob psycho. Not mob psycho. Sorry. Um, this has to be later on. I really should just write an index to this thing. Maybe it's before One Punch Man. There's Mob Psycho, this Cowboy Bebop, this Demon Slayer, Fox Machina, Demon Slayer again, Shield Hero again, My Hero, ReZero, Fairy Tale, Rumen Kun, Sakamoto's Days, there it is, the two pages. Uh, that is, or remember, that is Nagamo. Yeah, Nagamo. He notices something off. So he... the He makes the old person... He picks up the wallet of the old person and makes him drop it on the floor. Oh, my wallet. Upsie daisy. Goes grab some coins off the ground. Second floor, fashion department. And Sakamoto... The, the store clerk or whatever, the assistant here, pulls out a gun and faces it at Sakamoto. Oh, he stabbed her in the neck. He's like, Mo, how did you get a knife in here? You're the one uh, who said we could use this car for whatever we want. Nagamo, this guy is nuts. Whoa. How did you know I was an assassin? Who are you people? You were given off so much bloodlust in such, in such a cramped space. How could we not know this? So what's up with the department store anyways? We're looking for a guy called the Steel Dragon. Don't want to die. Tell us everything you know. The Steel Dragon runs this place. The sto store is a front. Every level staff like me has never ever met the Steel Dragon. We started monitoring you at the entrance. You won't get out alive. Yeah, I believe they do. We'll get out alive. We well, three of them I know are still in the series. Uh, the other one is dead, so pff, hopefully we do see how she dies. It does say Uzaki killed her, so I'm very curious with that. Assassin Department Store. Hmm. Yep, we're being watched. They get out, and it's very empty. Nagmo and Sakamo, you go up on upstairs. I'll stay down here with Mr. Emo. I want to check out the clothes anyway, so... Um... Akeo. Akira. Akeo. Not Akira. Uh, Ko though. Um, right? Yeah, Rion. Akeo. Uh, is staying down with Uzaki. Just don't slow me down. Uh, what's your name again? Uzaki. Are you looking for something? Got anything tough looking? Someone pulls out a gun and starts trying to shoot her. How about something spicy like this? And she takes up a jewelry uh, necklace and hits, takes out the first guy behind him. The color is in style this season. Oh? Another person comes in close to her. She gets take uh, this guy gets taken out quick with the shirt the assistant just gave her. Do you have anything rougher looking? I don't think I've ever would have say rougher looking for an outfit style. That's not something I would think about um, ever saying for looking for outfits. In that case, over here. 
and he puts the thug that she knocked out or killed up on a coat hanger like a mannequin and this guy comes over cool look you want one more winter outfit yeah I figured that bigger what I'm wearing will probably get dirty oh yes of course And the first guy that tries to rush around the clothing and get to her, she knocks out. The second guy is within the clothing, pulls out a gun. And the assistant almost sees it, but she ties the jewelry chain around the guy's neck and is choking him through the clothing. And th that one just came in. Really? I kind of like it. And she's just choking this guy, like, behind the clothing. Can I try it on? Yes, of course. If you need a different size, just let me know. I will. Now. Where is your boss, the Steel Dragon? If you don't answer, I'll just kill you and find someone else. Oh, and Uzaki comes in to help. Third floor electronic department. So these guys are mixing with the regular staff on every floor? Hey, nobody's working the register. Oh, huh, really? Plus, some of them are acting as customers. This is tricky. It, it absolutely is tricky. Oh, uh, Nagato, <laughs> Nagamo, uh, gets up from the counter and helps the guys at the counter. That'll be 1,300 yen. Thank you. You know how to work a register? We No need for you to learn Sakamo. You'll never work a register in your life. That's funny because he does eventually work a register. You got someone behind him on a chair. You can't become a top notch assassin without with only killing skills. Try a massage chair. So you kids are from the JCC. How is Atsuko uh, Sato uh, Sat Todo. Who are you, Gramps? You know, Sado Sensei? Nice work hiding your blood lust. Yeah, I invited her to join my organization, but she declined. Are you the Steel Dragon? Ah, Steel Dragon. Cool name, right? <laughs> uh, this, we're getting close. We're right on the final page of this one. The name's Kendaki. I lead a team known as the Order. Now, which one of you is stronger? Oh, so they they got sent to take out a member of the order. So, as far as I know from the order, that the small we've got, the small things I've gotten, and maybe we'll go more into it. I think the only way to join the order is either take out a member or get invited into the order by it. Or a order member, or maybe get taught into the order by an order member. That could be another another thing. Like I'm guessing that's how Shiba got in to the order. The name's Kendaki. Oh, yeah, I lead a team. This 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 looks like it's gonna be a hassle. Nagamo thinks, and uh, Nagamo points at Sakamo. Him, Sakamo says me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know who's actually stronger. Uh, between the two. They're probably e equally as strong. It's just that Nagamo just doesn't want a, a hassle right now uh, with another fight. Uh, with a fight. So he'd rather have let Sakamo do it. Uh, which is funny. Um, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Uh, we're gonna jump into chapter 109. Um... We'll do all the reviewing at the end. Um, I'll probably go back to these chapters and look through them and talk about them. Uh, we'll probably do four chapters. That would be my guess. Uh, I don't want to do any more than that because this does have to come out in at least five to eight hours would be my curiosity. So, um, yeah. 
Uh, technically, I think this is the only other thing I'm recording that will, today that will come out today. Uh, the other four videos are already pre-recorded. Um, that will come out today. Another long gameplay part will be the final thing tonight, or second to final thing tonight. Um, I think it's uh, Elden Ring part. I'm trying to think if I uh, if I want to put out too long form. No, I'll put out Blood Black K Battlefront Season Two Episode One through Four Friday. I'll put out the fairy tale thing tomorrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. The name's Kindaka. I lead the team known as the Order. Kindaka. Chapter 109, Kindaka. Order. Not the Seal Dragon. What's that? Never heard of yet, group. Front of bone, eye socket, nasal bone, ethymo bone. You want to disguise yourself. You have to start with your bone structure. I was in the intelligent gathering department at school. You can't fool me. Oh, an old picture. Let's finish this, Sakamoto. So, Nagamo is already caught, like, next to him and has pulled the back straps of him and pulling him down. Sakamo is rushing in. Before Sakamo can punch... Uh, fuck it. Where is his name? I need to write down his name. Even if he dies, I need to write down his name. Otherwise, I'm not gonna fucking remember his name. I'm bad with that. I'm so bad with... I'm so, so bad with that. Um, one of the worst things. Kendaka evades out of it, and I think actually... Punches both of them back? Would be my guess. And Kendaka. Kendaka starts running. And then when. Sakamoto and Nagamo. Start looking where he went. Kendaka is already behind them. Do you see him? Not at all. I'm super fast. When they turn around to look for him. He's already in front of them. A couple of slowpokes like you don't stand a chance. I'm the fastest assassin alive. They both try to stab him with, uh, it looks like box cutters. And he goes down to tie his shoe. Wow. So that fucking panel that we just saw of him dodging, it has to be a mere second. Even faster. Like, he's fast. Can a human move that fast? Heh. <laughs> if you want to run fast... You'll need these. He has some kind of special suit. That explains it. My trusty partners. Light speed shoes. Mama, I want those. You're too old for Velcro sh shoes. See, I don't... You can use... I, I would say... I recommend getting Velcro shoes. Or just shoes that you don't have to tie. I wear shoes... My shoes I wear every day are just plain shoes. They I never have to tie them. Why the fuck do I... I think I've forgotten how to tie fucking shoes at this point. It's been years since I've tied shoes. And I, at my point, I don't want to get other shoes. I'll just get black sh dress shoes that are not tied. Or like black looking shoes that look like dress shoes that just don't need to be tied. That's all I'll do for dress shoes. I'm never buying shoes again that have to be tied. Um, unless it's a business, I have to get, get it, then I will, but I more than likely won't go into businesses like that. Um, but yeah, uh, I wear sh shoes that I no longer have to tie. I've been for years. Asuka Satoto told me about you. I'll give you a nice workout, so come at me, prepare to die, punks. What's with this assignment? Did our teacher set us up? Those shoes... Kind of cool. Why is your hand on me? Back over Uzaki and Akeo. 
Those guys aren't our targets. Don't kill people meaninglessly. Huh? So what's a meaningful kill then? Do you decide what kind of killing is good or evil? Freaky. Her 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 vibe there is very close to like a Nagamo vibe. I'm going to mention that name. I haven't picked... I've seen clips from the show. I've never actually picked up the show. But it's kind of like the vibe she puts off in those clips I've seen. All e all killing is evil. We should avoid it wherever we can. And why'd you row at a assassin school? If you're not cut out for it, you should drop out. That came from upstairs. Huh? Are they seriously having trouble? Have fun shopping, wuss. She flips him off. You're, you're, you are hopeless, kids. Your movement are as boring as a kiddie roller coaster. They come off from the fourth floor or whatever, the third floor. And Sakamo gets hit into, like, the air. And Kendaka jumps in the air and grabs Sakamo's shirt and throws him into the... It looks like the escalator, and he goes through three escalators. Use the whole stage more widely and freely. He's talking like this is a fighting game, which is really cool. And then Sakamo looks up at him, and he sees a KO already starting her her way of seeing the kill and blow, and she can see six different openings. And he sees... Kendaka sees a KO. Before a KO can do anything... Kendaka is already up to her. Her killing pathway... Has zero wasted movement. I can't believe she got me on the defensive. What does this girl see? There! Gotcha! Fucking Nagamo... Drops a fridge... Or something... A container on top of Kend Kendaka's head. And both Nagamo and Sakamoto kicks this container. Uzaki's back at the two people in the store there. Probably treating them, looking at them, trying to decide what to do. So who is this guy? You little punks. Want to join the order? And you can see Kandaka's actually taking damage at this point. This is fucking cool. We might jump, We might do five. It depends on where we end. And how fast we go through these. I'm giving this a fucking 10 out of 10. This was fucking great. A great chapter. Uh, we're going to jump into 110. 110. I don't know why I said 1. 110. 110. Chapter 110. Uh, real quick. Uh, I want to pour myself a can of Coke. Or Dr. Pepper, I mean. Still can't open it because I just cut my fingernails yesterday. This is this this is like seriously getting somewhere's interest in. No, oh, I might be able to do another can. I can never tell with this cup. I will eventually take make myself a energy drink a gamer subs later on because I do want to record some smaller stuff today and render some stuff. I'll go up uh, tomorrow on Friday, but I need to I need to get this done and the other video up. Technically, if you guys are curious when we're talking here, you guys are getting six six videos today, two manga reviews, two drink reviews, and then two gameplay. One gameplay, one and one achievement guide. Um, this is the last like recorded thing that will come out today. Your first thing that will come out today is One Punch Man chapter review. Um, so, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll actually start drinking from that throughout the chapter when we're doing this. Chapter 110. Hmm. What's that, Mr. Sakamoto? The results from the first character popularity vote. What? How'd we do?
Okay, first place is Shin. Wow. Second place is Nagamo. Third, fa third place, Osaragi. Fourth place, Shiba. Fifth place, Sakamoto. Sixth place, Siba. Uh, seventh place, Akeo. Kira Akeo. Eighth place, Takamura. Ninth place, Ga Gaku. And tenth place, His Hisuki. Hisak. Hisuki. Damn. Uh, chapter 110. I think it gave us the title up there. No, it didn't give us the title. Maybe we'll get it later on. Mission. Chapter 110, Mission. Want to join the order? Who are you, mister? I just kicked you really hard. How are you still standing? You can give me your answer after I beat you up. Here he comes. He runs in and grabs, grabs Nagamo's uh, heel. Or his ankle. He's even faster than before. Earlier when I asked which of you were tougher, you lied, right? Nagamo goes to kick Kendaka and Kendaka dodges. Uh, Akeo throws him a dagger. Nagamo, catch. Please don't underestimate your elders. I, I skipped it a little bit there. Because he throws Nagamo across the fucking gap here to a uh, staircase. That geezer. He seems to know Sayago Sensei. This is no ordinary assignment. Also, what's what's the order? Sounds fishy. Wow, Nagato actually has a couple tattoos on his side. The first one looks almost like a snowflake design. The next one is a flag of some sort, I would guess. And then he also has a tattoo on his chest. It looks like praying hands. Um... I don't think we've I don't think we've seen tattoos on Nagamo. Are you okay? We got assistant here. Our teachers totally tricked us. I mean, don't trust a KO and Sakamoto. I can I mean I can trust a KO and Sakamoto can handle it. I'll do some strategizing and he lies down in a bed. Is it comfortable? It's the best. So, I'm guessing he's no longer fighting here. We're back over at KO. Uh, uh, fucking Kendra throws a knife at her. She dodges and tries to kick him. He dodges. Hmm. Right, she has special vision. She's doing the best, best of the three. Well then. He runs down the aisle. Away from the two. Oh no, you don't. Gotcha. Oh, he put in the place of where he was a Tabasco hot, hot sauce bottle, and it splashes into her eye. Yeah, those with good eyes will react quickly to anything. And then, out of nowhere, Sakamoto fucking rushes Kendaka into an elevator. Oh? In a confined space, speed doesn't matter. Try me. And he's dodging all around Sakamoto when Sakamoto's trying to get Did I tell you you never get me with your wimpy moves? This is pissed off Sakamoto in a way. He looks aggravated. And he just punches Kendaka in the fucking face. That's so cool. I think Kendaka is not... He's underestimating these three. It happens a lot. Where either the villain underestimates... Or the main 
uh, antagonist or person underestimates the other people or the people underestimate the like main antagonist. I can't believe I just used main antagonist. I think I used it right. I would have never thought I would ever use that word. I'm not good with remember what words mean. I never have been. I think I used that correctly. Ah, a hit. I'm starting to get used to you. Ah, you're fun. The elevator opens up. Time to shift into max gear. They get out and holy shit. Within a panel, you see him bounce off of probably like... He, he's bouncing like ten times all over the room. Like in the massive room. What are you looking at? If you just stand there staring off in space, you're gonna get bulldozed. When he's rushing into Sakamoto, Uzaki steps in the way and looks at him, which freaks um, freaks Kendaki out. I thought he was just a civilian, so I dodged him. Is he a friend of theirs? Yeesh, I hurt my back with that emergency break. It was a bit much at my age. Hey, Uzaki, how did you see them? And how come you're suddenly helping? You don't Follow a fast target with your eyes. You anticipate his moves based on the surroundings. Also, in terms of helping, I don't want you comp com complaining to the teachers that I was slacking off. Why would I bother snitching on you? Or a dumb thing to worry about. Nice work! Hurry up and get down here. <laughs> Fucking a KO yelling at... Um, uh, Nagamo. Also, Akeo was blushing from that statement from Uzaki. Also, you can see another tattoo, another two tattoos on the forearm of Nagamo here. One looks like a measuring method on his side, which is really neat to do. I think that would be a neat tattoo is have like a measuring stick on there and how many inches. It'd be a quick way to measure shit. Um... And then there's another tattoo on his side you can't really see. And it looks like on his other arm, it's like tattoos, but it's like spiral lines around his arm. He's not just good at evaluating the surroundings. He's got no fear jumping right in front of me and my speed. Now that's an ambush. Huh? Before he can think of anything, Sakamoto has wrapped him with a banner. And now he's spinning. Sakamo is spinning him at top speed. Holy shit. He throws him up to the second floor. So hard on the ground. He comes through the second floor. Holy shit, Sakamoto. You're right. It is useful to take advantage of the whole space. Not bad, kid. That's the end of the chapter. That's 110. What th what chapter is this? 108, 109, 110. We got one more for doing four. We got two more for doing five. I don't know yet. This is... This was a fucking banger. We're also getting, like, tattoos on Nagamo, which is really cool. I'll say this when we're quickly doing this. Uh, before we pop up the thing and jump to the next chapter. I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Uh, real quick, I always experience it with tattoos, my fairy tale or my Gurren Lagann tattoo. Um, I believe all tattoos, even if they were done in such a haste or like, I'm at a party, we're getting a tattoo. Every tattoo does have a story. It's same thing with people. Everyone has a story and you either tell it or you don't tell it. Um, the stage for your life is either performing live to many people or just to only yourself. Um, same thing with scars. I love scars a lot. Um, some people call them ugly, the scars. I love them a lot. Um, whenever we're in stories where, like, either women or men have, like, scars across their body, I'm so more intri intrigued with them. It happens a lot. I'm, I'm, uh, I kind of geek out with that type of stuff. Um, if you're ever curious, um, tattoos are one of them. Um, I only have two two tattoos. Like I said, one here, one here. I'm planning to get another one here, two, one on back of both of my um, legs. 
Um, and then a few others. I have at least 10 tattoos planned. Um, one will commem commemorate my our old guild leader that died from an overdose. Um, so that will be one of them. Another one will be commemorate, commemorate, uh, will be one for my dog, one of my favorite dogs, one of the best dogs I've ever had. That uh, there will be one. This one will be the yin yang that I have on the channel. The yin yang with saw blade around it. That's what's going on this shoulder. Um, there's a few others I have planned. Goblin Slayer ha will be down below the tattoo. Um, there's a bunch. There's a bunch I have planned. And we'll eventually get them one after another. But it will take time. Okay, let's jump into chapter 111. Uh, this is the fourth chapter. Um, like I said, I don't know if we're picking up five today or four. Uh, five will be the limit if we do pick up five. Um, so just for anybody wondering. Because this does have to go out in like five hours. Um, day 111, Bodyguard Assignment. Mission accomplished. Gee, I'm tired. You didn't even do anything. Well, at least we all won't get expelled now. <laughs> huh. You guys don't know anything, do you? You still alive? What you talking about, Pops? Even if you kill me, you aren't going back to school. You were sent here to die. To die? All of them are stunned. What do you mean, Pops? The point of this assignment is to dispose of problem students. The school gets rid of out-of-hand students by sending them to me. If they're useful as fighters, I can recruit them. It's a win-win argument. We're always sh short-handed in this field. Anyways. Anyways, going back to school isn't an option. If you think I'm lying, go ahead and call them. You're probably not even on... You're probably not even on the attendance list anymore. Sensei, are done with the assignment. What? How? Are you alive? Vice principal? Vice principal? Huh? They have realized now. Nobody's ever completed that assignment. I can't believe they survived. I told you. You mean we're expelled? But without a diploma? We can't get type 2 licenses. Listen, you kids. If you really want to go back to school, how about we make a deal? You can get us re, re, readmitted. You know, Yatsumura, the professor, uh, um, murderous at your school. Who? Oh, the guy who comes once a year to do special lectures. Yeah, right. That super tough-looking old dude. Between you and me, Yatsumura is in the Order 2. In fact, he and I are the founders. Damn. I'm guessing he dies at the end of this flashback. I don't see Kendaka surviving this. Because I, I would think we would, would, would have gotten mentioned him prior. I would hope, but maybe not. You can never tell with a story. Uh, so you can, you probably can tell, I just can never tell, can tell. So you could negotiate with Professor Mitis for us? Yeah. That's the order anyways. It's a special organization that reports directly to the JAA. We're the JAA's strongest fighters, but there are only four of us in Japan right now. Oh. Act more impressed. I wonder if there could technically be more than ten order members at once. I wonder if that is a possibility. So, in order for us to get readmitted, what do you want from us? Just so you know, I'm not interested in this order nonsense. Follow me and you'll see. Took you long enough. Yo, sorry, Kondo. Kandaka, keep a VIP waiting. So, what's all this? Just some minor business. Don't worry about it. But we have an assignment from the chairman. Don't worry. I brought some stand-ins. Stand-in? These kids? <laughs> KO dropped dead. What are, you ta what are you thinking? This is the order assignment. It's if the higher-ups find out. Sush. If we wrap it up quickly, nobody will know. Hey, you've got to be kidding. Why should we 
do your job. It's your fault I hurt my back. Take responsibility. For real? We've been had. Well, if he can re get us readmitted. <laughs> I'm hungry. Saki saying nothing. So, who do we have to kill? Chill out. This isn't assassination. It's the opposite. Your job is to escort this VIP to the airport. Is this, like, this fatter guy with glasses? Bodyguard assignment. Who's this bozo? Hey, you little punk, watch your, how you talk to the exec of the JAA. You don't do this stuff at school, right? Should be way easier than fighting me. Are you serious, Mr. Kendaka? These... They're just brats. If something happens, when they're talking, a KO grabs the exec by the necktie and blocks a stray bullet with a knife. What? Sniper, 300 meters ahead at 2 o'clock. Sakamoto, I need to borrow this. But that's that handgun doesn't have the range. I'll have it work. And he goes to like... He's u he's using momentum on the gun. So when he f fires the trigger, the bullet goes even... F I don't know if that's even physically possible. That would be cool if it is possible. I really don't think it's physically possible though. Um, real quick. Um, sorry about this. My... One Punch Man chapter 195 just got rend done rendering. Like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it. That was rendering in the background. That is the first video for today. Um, I just need to start rendering one of one of the uh, drink videos in the background when this is going on. It technically would it would be One Punch Man, then the drink video, then this. That's how it's gonna go. So give me one second, and we'll jump back into the chapter. I really, I'm really curious if that's possible. I don't think it could be possible. Um, what I do, if you're ever curious, so I keep bottles that I've done in the past over next to me, and I, whenever I review them, I do throw them away. So that's why I try to. Okay, it's somewhere around here. That's the Kit Kat video. That's the Mochi video. That's the Gurren Login videos I still am working on. Okay, is this all Gurren Login here? That's a gamer sub that will have to come out. Okay, those are pre like videos I'll intros I'll put to layer videos. I think this is not gamer subs. Yeah, it is. Uh sorry, I'm really sorry about this. I really need to get this start rendering. I'm really sorry this is happening right now, but um That's what happens with some of these videos. Some of these videos are kind of collabed like this. Um Not that. That will come out later this week. Or next week. That's the Pokey. That's the Rockstar. That's the last Zoa. That I'll ever try more than likely. That's the Japanese Candy. That's a different episode thing that I don't know if I'll ever upload. That's Coffee. Okay, so this is actually further up. It has to be. I'm really, I'm really sorry. That was recorded last week. Oh, this is actually the newer release one. 
Okay, so this is not the older one. I was curious because I that's why I was looking further back. Okay. Uh sorry. I found it. I found I found the older one first. And I was really surprised. It's this tea that I tried. File render. Okay, so I'm really, I'm really, really sorry for that. Um, let's jump back into the chapter. Uh, I'll make it work, and he, he ends up pushing the bullet further, and kills the sniper. And then two people jump to the side. Nagamo pulls out his like his weapons, wherever they might be. And kills the two. The lady here. What the? This isn't student level work. In fact. The car comes around to the side. I don't like to drive. It's Uzaki. Nice Uzaki. After us. Step on it. Maybe time for another job. So. Con Kondo here. Is supposed to just stay behind, it looks like. People in the car is Kendaka, uh, Nagamo, Akeo, Uzaki, Sakamoto, and the Ezekt. Great, we're off to a slippery start. This guy's heavy. Sakamoto, move your hip, your seat up. My back hurts. Not moving it any further. <laughs> it's tight in here. Sorry for all the commotion, Mr. VIP. We'll get you to the airport super safe, so it's hot. Ma'am, is it... Mama, is it okay now? Huh? Oh, fine. Let's see. Press here in. Oh, shit! The Mr. Exact was like a... <laughs> the Mr. Zect was like a a disguise to keep these two hidden. It's a mother and a child. Few. And they all all of them are like, who are they? And then when Kendaka says that too They're like, huh? Uh Okay, I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10, and we're going to jump into one more chapter. Right, this 108, 109, 110, 111, we're jumping into 112. This will be the last chapter we pick up. Uh, this would be actually be short. This would probably be like 45 minutes right now, 46 minutes, if it wasn't for me looking for a video to render. I'm really sorry about that. But when I'm doing stuff like this, we're trying to get stuff out and pre like pre scheduled for tonight since i have work later tonight i need to get stuff rendered now and uploaded um so really sorry about that but uh we're jumping into the final chapter breaking up this time which is 112 not bad five chapters few Mi chapter 112 mini mini mission who are you hey that dude turned into a lady how come you didn't know? Disguise? Are you Mr. Kendaka's... How do you know my name? Oh, are you Mr. Kendaka? The woman asked her. Oh, good. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ayo Mayo. I, I am Mayo. The wife of the chairman of the JAA. And this is our direct... Come, uh... Konomi. I've heard about you from my husband and Mr. Yatsumura. Yatsumura. Hold on a sec. The chairman has a daughter? He's supposed to be single. Resistance is top secret. Only a few people know. No way. You look like normal citizens. 
civilians. That's the. What's the chairman thinking? You angry, Kandaka? Of course I am. People like us who live in the underworld have no business getting involved with civilians. If something happens, we can deal with the danger, but civilians don't know how to defend themselves. And once they're involved with the underworld, there's no escape. Oh, I see. I like some of these building blocks they're doing um, in the past here in this flashback uh, towards the main series. There's been a lot of anti-JAA activity recently. We could have a major battle on our hands. But before that happens, I want to at least get this child to safety outside of Japan. Please help us. I'm begging you. We can't just toss you out of the car at this point. It's a direct assignment from the chairman. Can these kids handle this? Letters? Pictures on your arms. What? Koha, I drew all this stuff with a pen. But it washes off in the bath, so I have to redraw it every day. What a hassle, right? Well, let's call it a tattoo. It's a lot. Konomi Kim- knows. Uh, I like how Nagamo keeps trying to lie to people, and this kid directly read him. Like, the uh, two chapters ago, three chapters ago, something like that. He lied about uh, Sakamoto being the strongest to try to get out of a battle. Now that's called a tattoo. Yeah, okay. Uh, don't be stupid, Nagamo. Kids her age don't like being treated like little children. Kao, why are you fidgeting? Kimono, are you about six years old? You're a big kid, right? Tell that jerk not to treat you like a baby. Do you have a daughter? Uzaki <laughs> Uzaki asking the question. Of course I don't. What kind of idiot are you? Oh, you just seem to know a lot about kids. I have a niece. Duh. Sakamo, I've got a mini mission for you. Make Konomi laugh. Huh? Haha, I love it. Go ahead, make her laugh. Chubby assassin. And he blows up his face and puts his knees into his shirt. That joke gets zero points. Boring. What kind of comedian are you? Dang. Wish I got in the video of that. But it's working on her. It's working. For some reason they're on the save wavelength. Maybe kids like fatties. Mission accomplished. Huh. We see a car passing by. And a guy grabs a can from the railing. In front of him is a bag of cans. Are you collecting garbage? This The car stinks. It's a good deed. Good deed. The god of killing are always watching. If you do good deeds, killing becomes easier. Five points for picking up trash. And he has this notebook in front of him. He's this bald head dude with big round glasses. Some piercings. At the brink of death, your good deeds can determine whether you live or die. Good deeds. Doing good deeds is uh, to support your evil work. How ironic. Killing can be good or evil. And he takes out this grenade and presses it and throws it out the window. That's for the deeds to decide. Hmm? Holy crap. Sometimes I scroll ahead to see. Hand grenade 50 meters ahead. They all shocked. Nagamo, Okeo, get the mother and child out of here. Before any of that can happen, Sakamoto goddamn punches through the bottom of the, the car, catches the grenade. Great work, it's in the car. No problem. And he then takes out a pistol, shoots up a manhole cover coming up, and throws the grenade down the manhole. Let's get to work. Oh, looks like his, he's done some good deeds. And that's the end of the chapter. This is where we're ending it this time. I'm not picking up another ch- chapter. We did five this time around. A lot better than the two I did in the past, but the two were very long. Uh, I think we are still, with Sakamoto Days, I think we are still a long ways back. Uh, we just covered, what, five chapters? 
I'm still 30 something chapters behind. I think it's the same thing for One Punch Man, uh, One Piece, or 30 chapters behind. Um, but yeah, I'm still a little bit behind on this. But these will go a whole lot quicker than One Piece. One Piece is going to take longer to catch up. This will won't be as long. Because some chapters are really quick, some are a little longer. Um, One Piece usually seems like it's the same length every single time. About 15 to 20 minutes per chapter. Um, sometimes I might get a quick one, but a lot of times, no. Um, I'm giving chapter 112 a 9 out of 10. Uh, we're going to go back and start reviewing uh, these chapters. Um, where the hell is the arrow? Oh, it's above. Uh, 108. Let's talk about 108. We're going to just talk one at a time. So you get put on the assignment to take out Kendaka, which they didn't know was Kendaka at this point, and they end up into a surveillance store that is a full of, full of assassins. So their jo job to take out the Steel Dragon becomes more hassle, and they slowly start taking out people, staff, and uh, and uh customers because both are working for the store the end of the chapter Nagamo takes uh helps uh with the cashier spot and they end up in facing uh Kendaka and at that point Nagamo lies about uh who is the strongest or who yeah, who of you are stronger? And he lies about Sak uh, Sakamo being the strongest because he doesn't want to fight. It's too much of a hassle for him. Which is absolutely something I could see Nagamo doing. It's very to his character's point. Uh, 109. The fight kicks up, off. And we can just see the speed. Apparently it's with his shoes is how he gets the speed. We have an interaction between Uzaki and Akeo. Akeo eventually joins the battle with Sakamoto and Nagamo versus Kendaka. And the chapter ends with them being able to get a blow on Kendaka because he's bleeding at that point. Because Akeo has the... Akeo can see the kill him killing lines better than anybody else so there's no wasted movement chapter 110 the cover starts off with the 10 top 10 people favorite people by the vote by a fan vote um i'm joining the order but this is where they start talking about the order about joining and all that the fight continues nagamo actually takes a break here to get away and then Kendaka takes out Akeo's eyes takes her out of the battle for right now and then it's just a fight between Sakamo and Kendaka eventually leads to eventually leads to um, Uzaki freaking him out and Sakamo taking care of the advantage and Knocking him, well, knocking him to the ground. Um, then the last two chapters we just covered, it starts off with them being uh, finding out that they've been expelled from the the class. They're from the J the JCC, uh, and the teachers are surprised they lived. Sado Sensei told them that they would uh, be successful because technically people would be sent to Kandak Kandaka any trouble students to be taken out and anybody who wasn't taken out would join the order they say there's only four people in Japan right now that are part of the order um, he's one of the two original founders of the order same, same thing with Mr. Yatsumura uh, bu, bu, bu. 
they I know they've said in the past only 10 members can be in the order. I really doubt there's 10 mem like that's the max. I'm guessing there's probably been points where it's higher. Maybe that's the point they do now, only 10 members. I wouldn't doubt it. Um They eventually get wrapped up into escort in a VIP to an airport. And uh, if they do this, they'll be able to reinstate or join the order, whichever one they choose. Uh, they show off their skills while fighting here. Sakamoto does such a stunt I don't think it's possible to do unless you you need super human strength Mac sniper in a building 300 meters away Sakamoto picks up the handgun she says that doesn't have the range he then throws his hand forward and fires to give the bullet more movement and hits the sniper I don't know if that's physically possible it could be but I, I would have no goddamn clue where you start with that. I don't think it would. But still, really cool moment there. Um, them showing off the skills. And then we end that chapter with the Mr. VIP just being disguised to hold to hold the chairman's wife and daughter inside. We get a whole talk about that in this chapter. Uh, and then we get introduced to the people trying to take them out. It looks like two heads here. Like two main people here on the... Uh, two. I'm guessing these are the two heads of this assassin group to sent to kill these two. Um, so I'm very curious how this works out. But... We do end the chapter with them, everybody in the car is still safe. The guy has a weird thing about good deeds helping you be able to kill better. So that will be a cool thing to see how that works out. Um, but yeah, that's where we ended. Uh, really great. Uh, we got, what, five more chapters for the flashback? I think there's, what, one or two chapters prior to this. Um, so not too bad. Uh, I'm very curious how much more of this flashback will consist of. I'm really hoping they show how Uzaki kills Akeo. I'm really hoping that happens in this flashback. It could be later on, um, but I'm hoping that's that's the biggest thing I hope for. I'm also curious if they join back to the school or if they just join straight to the order. Who knows? Um, can never tell with these flashbacks. Um, other than that, I would think... Uh, Kendaka probably dies during this. I don't see him living. I really don't see him living because it would be strange if he lived and we just don't know about him. It does happen from time to time with this manga, but uh, I'm guessing Kendaka is dead. I think Kend that would be my biggest guess is Kendaka is probably dead already. And we're going to see him die through this mission or maybe after the mission is over. But Uzaki, I like. I think the most because right now we're seeing more him. This is probably his main personality before it splits. Um, since that's the idea that he has two personalities and this is his main one. Uh, other than that. Other than that, uh, next time we'll pick up from chapter 113. I don't know how many we're picking up. Uh, it could be four or five, but we will be trying to go through them quickly too. Like I said, uh, 30 chapters. Uh, we'll probably get through these more quickly. I would hope to do another one of these next week and just slowly catch up like that. Same thing with One Piece. I want to try start picking up again. Um, but we'll see. 
Um, uh, other than that, I think this is where we'll end it. Um, if you guys like video, like if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing to the channel to keep up with all the content. Otherwise, it's been Miss Crazy Deacon signing off. Uh, like I said, I think this will be the third video that goes up today. Uh, so, uh, other than that, really thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night, wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully I'll see you guys next video and uh, peace.